you guys remember when they had those posters around, right, for the iPod? Well, unfortunately, the iPod is now 100% gone. It is dead. Let's not talk about it, but... Oh, we will be. Today, we're going to be talking about every single iPod model that has come out. We're going to be comparing every single model from the one that's come before to the future ones. If that sounds fun, guys, we're making videos every single week, multiple times in that week. Uh, in this studio, of course, we're on channel two right now, but of course we are also on channel one where we make travel films around the world. So, yes, sad news. Rest in peace, the iPod. Uh, using my computer here in front of me, just like this, we're gonna be doing the live show right now. So your Apple discontinues the iPod after 21 freaking years. Fun news, I might add. Now, if you still want an iPod brand freaking new from Apple, then you can, all right? They are actually still selling these iPods right now, mind you. Well, let's, let's just be frank for a second. Why would you want one? That's exactly the reason why they're getting rid of them, right? Uh, in 2022 and beyond, they're pretty much useless. Sad. It's honestly sad. So what is the reason, right? The reason Apple said in the statement is that its other devices have melded music into their functionality. The iPhone, the Apple Watch, iPad, and the HomePod Mini all duplicate the iPod's music streaming abilities, the company noted. So basically the iPod, its only claim to fame is that it can only stream music where everything else streams music plus everything else makes telephone calls and I don't know, is a lot better, right? Now, on Wikipedia is a list of iPod models. We're gonna zoom in a little, just like that, and we're gonna go down the list, okay? So the first, the second, and the, th and the third uh, generation iPods were, well, okay. Let's start from the start. So the first generation had a five gigabyte uh, and 10 gigabyte model. Its connection was Firewire. It came out October 23rd, uh, 23rd 2001. Uh, minimum operating system to sync was nine and 10.1. And the audio well, related battery life in hours was 10 hours. That was pretty, really good. It was pretty, pretty good, I guess, really good. And you know, that was the slogan, right? have a thousand songs in your pocket. And wow, for the day, that was amazing. I mean, when that first came out, I was like, wow. I mean, I didn't have the money to buy it. I did get these ones here and I'll show you them right now, actually. I ended up getting these ones. This one's the iPod video. And this one is the iPod touch. It's got U2 Bono on the back. Remember that when Apple randomly gave us a whole U2 album without us asking for it. <laughs> I felt, I felt, I felt violated. <laughs> I felt like Apple did me wrong. <laughs> I was like, one day I was okay, and the next, who's coming to my house and violated my personal space, my iPod, and put this music on? <laughs> a lot of people didn't like it, apparently. Eventually, I did like it. I did listen to the album a few times because well, it was free and it was U2, and I was like, oh, that's all right, okay, fair enough. But the initial thought was, fuck. <laughs> anyway, so yes, the first generation iPod was five gigabytes, 10 gigabytes. Now the second generation, which came out and July 17, 2002 had 10 gigabytes and 20 gigabytes, so we'd, we'd gone up significantly, I guess you could say. Uh, still, 10 hours was the situation for that one, the 10-hour battery life, right? Now, the third generation, uh, 10, 15, 20, and 30 gigabytes, uh, 40 gigabytes as well, Firewire, USB, April 28, 2003, and the minimum, well, the minimum uh, Windows uh, was it Windows? No, I, I, operating system to sync? Okay. Mac and Windows, so there we go. That's what you needed to get that thing to work. Uh, this one, for some reason, the third generation had eight hours of battery life, whereas the, the first two had 10. So significantly decreased in that situation. But I will add, the third generation had kind of flush buttons. So we're just gonna click on that photo for a, sam uh, for a quick second. And look, see, it's kind of all fully flush, 
Whereas if we look back at the first, for example, oh, look at the second one. The second one looks kind of more ingrained, the picture, the way the shadow is. But yeah, you can see it's actually physical buttons where you have to physically touch them. We will quickly look at the first one because why not, right? That's what we're here for. Uh, you know, it's all physical buttons, but of course, as we got on, uh, that came to almost no buttons, just a touchpad situation. So going to the fourth, I mean, this is the, the radical change of the fourth, right? Completely seamless to touch, really, really smooth. You know, the, there's the buttons there, but it's, but it's obviously a click wheel now. The, the touchpad sensitivity, uh, what would you call it? The laptop, the, the laptop touchpad situation going on, all right? Very interesting, right? So now going to the fourth generation iPod. And this is an interesting one. So take a look at this, guys. This is the fourth generation iPod. And we seem to have two different iPod versions in the same year. So July 19, 2004 is when this one came out. And this one, the, the, the photo with color display came out October. So what's that? June, July, August, September, October. So three months later, and you're getting yourself one of these. So we'll just quickly look on this one. That's what this one looks like. Very nice. And this one looks like this. Yeah, very pixelated screen, as you can tell. But I'm guessing for the day, that looked kind of cool, right? Um, God, imagine bringing someone from the past, from the, with the, you know, the iPhone first generation, or the iPod touch, uh, iPod first generation into what we, are, what we have now, right? Wow, they'd be blown away, wouldn't they? Interesting. So this one that came out three months earlier had 12 hours of audio. Whereas the previous generation, the third generation, had eight hours of audio. So they've, they've significantly improved that, haven't they? And with this one that came out three months later, uh, 15 hours audio? Really? And five hours of sideshow to look at your photos, right? If you, in a pixelated format, that looks like a one-inch screen on your, in your hand, right? <laughs> Basically, we were very easy to please back then. Yeah. Probably in 50 years' time, they'll be saying the same thing about us in 2022. They like their brand new iPhones. Just wait, just just wait till they grow up in, in 50 years' time, kind of thing. Like us, right? Imagine what we'll see in 50 years. Who knows, right? Uh, so yeah, 15 hours was amazing. That was pretty, really, pretty, really cool. I'm guessing. Still is pretty good, actually. So now we go to the fifth generation. We'll quickly look at this photo. And there we go, that's what that one looks like, like uh, right there. It, it's, it's getting more of a modern feel. That one looks just kind of like my one right here, but mine was the black. I don't know which, I don't know which version this one was, but um, yeah, there we go. Remember when Feel Good Ink by the Gorillas was a huge deal? Such a big song back in the day, but yeah. So, still the fifth generation. We've now got 30 gigabytes, 60 gigabytes, 80 gigabytes. That was pretty huge. So, I mean, forget about a thousand songs you've in your pocket. You've now got a hundred thousand songs in your pocket. Who knows? A lot of goddamn songs, right? Firewire USB, uh, October 12, 2005, five, uh, five, I should say, yes. Uh, Mac 10.3, Windows 2000. 30 gigabytes, what does that mean? I'm not too sure, but the audio is 14 hours. So from, from the, the previous year generation, we've actually gone worse by one hour. That's interesting, see that? Audio 15 uh, hours there, audio 14 hours there. Video playback, t only two hours, really? So that's what it must mean. If you get the 30 gigabyte model, that's what you're getting for that 30 gigabyte model. But for the 60 and 80 gigabyte models, that's what you're getting, right? 20 hours of audio and three to six hours, three to 6.5 hours of video. Why does that vary so much? I don't know. All right, going to the sixth generation iPod, and this is where they really start to look modernish, right? This is like the modern look that I'm kind of familiar with. Well. Yeah, as you guys have seen, that thing right there. That's a cool looking iPod. M much bigger screen compared to the previous ones, obviously. Uh, you know, good for video. So yeah, 80 gigabytes, 120 gigabytes, 160 
gigabytes, whereas the previous models were 30, 60, and 80. See right there? That is crazy. USB Firewire for charging only. September 5, 2007 was when, this, when uh, this one came out. And the operating system to make this thing work was Mac 10.4 or Windows XP or above. That's interesting. Uh, the 80 gigabyte version had 30 hours. That's crazy. Look at this. So the previous model, the fifth generation model, had 14 hours uh, audio. And this one had 30 hours and five hours for video. But if you go to the 120 gigabyte uh, model, I mean, you're getting 36 hours of, of uh, now you guys can see it properly now, sorry about that. You're getting 36 hours of audio and six hours of video. That is crazy. And the 160 gigabyte 2007 model came with this. Wow, so hang on. This one had 40, 40 hours of audio, is that right? Wow. <laughs> so I'm guessing with the bigger gigabyte models, is that even a word? The, big, the bigger gigabyte models, that they obviously, it seems to be, they've obviously increased the battery significantly. So I'm guessing that the back of the, the thickness of the iPod would have been thicker, I'm guessing. Is that right? Does anyone have these models? And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. That'd be interesting to know, right? But yeah, 40 hours as opposed to 36, as opposed to 30, depending which one you get. That's so interesting. All right, so now we're going to the minis, okay? Uh, okay, the first and the second. These are the two minis we're gonna be looking at right now, pretty much. So this one had four gigabytes, whereas this one had 4.6. Uh, this one came out, the first mini had 2004. All right, and February 2005, this is the operating system you would need to get these things working. Uh, audio, eight hours, whereas the one next year had 18 hours. So a significantly huge improvement between them two over one year. That's pretty crazy. Let's we'll quickly, quickly look at that, that image right there, and that's what that one looked like. Eh, looks a bit dated, doesn't it? Uh, you know, this is the minis that, that I was really thinking about getting at one point, but I didn't. Remember when Steve Jobs came out on stage and he and he literally pulled it out of that little, you know, there's a little pocket, like there's your big pocket, right? But then right next to the big pocket is a little pocket. I'm pretty sure he pulled it out of the little pocket like that. And he's like, hey, this is it here. And then the whole crowd were like, whoa, cool, future technology is awesome. And now we look, look, now we look back and think, well, even now, actually, that, that was actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. The, the dimensions for this little iPod back in the day were, was really, really small, really thin and, and slim. And yeah, that was still is kind of an impressive looking design. So with this, oh God, with this little design, which came out on September 7, 2005, uh, yeah, one gigabyte, two gigabytes and four gigabytes. Wow. That was a small amount. That was absolutely tiny. Uh, my goodness, that was the operating system you needed to, to get it working. But audio was 14 hours though. That was pretty cool. Slideshow to look at photos and stuff was four hours. The second generation model improved hardly much, but it did double, I guess, in some ways. Two, four, and eight gigabyte models you could pick. Uh, September 12, 2006. And wow, huge improvement with audio. Look at that. Audio, 24 hours, basically listen to your iPod all day long. iPod mini. Is it mini? No, we're in the nano. We're in the nano ones now. Look at the top, the, the, the left. There we go, nano. So is it going to do it? There we go. So these are the nano ones, right? 24 hours, that's crazy. So going to the third generation right now, which is looking interesting. It's... It's what would you call it? It's thicker, like wider, than the than the than the nano than the previous nanos, but it's shorter. So I'm guessing it looks better for video. They've made the widescreen kind of thing, so you can watch, you know, movies with your little one-inch screen, right? <laughs> it's not the size of it; it's what you do with it that counts. Remember that, lads. Okay, going back to what we're talking about, <laughs> the third generation nano had. Uh, four and eight gigabyte models, 
September 2007. That was the operating system you could, you could use it with, and audio was 24 hours again and five hours for video, the same as the second generation models. So that's interesting. Nothing had changed, even though this one had gotten smaller, it was still the same uh, sound for that period. Now the Nano fourth generation had four gigabytes, eight gigabytes, and 16 gigabytes. Uh, this one, USB. This is the first one we see now with just USB without the word Firewire for charging. That's interesting. So it looks like Firewire has been removed with the, the Nano fourth generation, which came September 9, 2008. Uh, Mac 10.4 and Windows XP was the minimum you needed to get it working. Audio 24 hours and four hours for video. So for, for, for three years, these three generations had the same playback for audio, 24, 24, 24. Yet three years after this one came out, you're getting one year less for video, which is strange. I'm guessing it's a different screen, probably more intensive power is required. I don't know, but that's interesting to look at. Going to the fifth generation, you've got eight and 16 gigabytes, USB, 2009, and 24 hours again, five hours video. So it's gone back to one more hour for video, as it, the same it did four years previous. One, two, three years, three years previous. So one, two, three, four, and five models all had 24 hours of audio. So going to the sixth generation one now, which is an interesting little one. Have a look at this one. Very tiny little thing, tiny little thing. Now we didn't actually go and click on that, but we will click on that right now because why not, right? This is what this thing looked like with it powered on. Still a little pixelated. You guys, you guys can actually see the pixels there, see? But still an okay looking device. Even today that looks kind of modern and I don't really have a problem with the way it looks. But yeah, the sixth generation one, the little tiny nano had eight to 16 gigabytes. This came out September 1st, 2010, and audio was 24 hours. Going to the seventh generation, this is an interesting looking one. Seventh generation iPod Nano. Wow, this is kind of looking like a little iPhone. Kind of, kind of. 16 gigabytes was the base and only model you could get. There you go. Now, if you guys want to read these extra things that I'm not reading, you know, please do, but I'm just reading the specifics, right? So September 12th, 2012, the year that the world should have ended, but it didn't. Uh, the Mayan culture predicted it. Uh, it didn't come true, but there you go. Audio, 30 hours. So we're now we're going into significant territory after a long hiatus of just 24. All right, 30 hours, but still, oh, video, 3.5 hours as opposed to five hours for that model, the fifth, the fifth model. Interesting. Even two years later, in some ways it's getting worse, in some ways. All right, it's interesting when you think about it. Now we're going to talk about the shuffles. The first generation, which came out in 2005, had only 512 megabytes or one gigabyte. Audio was 12 hours, that was interesting. The second generation, now I've, I've uh, my friend had this one, but he kind of gave it to me, so I have that one now, but I don't know where it is. Uh, one to two gigabytes, USB, 2006, uh, 12 hours. The third generation shuffle, two gigabytes, four gigabytes, USB, March 11, 2009, and audio 10 hours. So that's interesting. We seem to be going downhill again. We're, we're reducing the, the battery life after three years. Why are they doing that? Why did they do that? 12 hours of audio, 12 hours of audio, and only 10 hours of audio up here. Interesting. That's interesting. But the fourth generation had two gigabytes, USB, September 1st, 2010, and had an extra five hours of battery life in that small package one year later. So that's, that's very interesting. So now we're getting away from the whole classic iPod design. This is the design, you know, I mean, this is the one that we're, a lot of us know what iPods are, but of course the, 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 the younger generation will think of iPods that look like this. Uh, this is the first, I'm pretty sure this is the first generation, if I can get it to, to, to focus, this is the first generation iPod Touch, and it's not focusing. But there you go, that's the John Lennon one. And 
I, I opened up my, I turned on my first generation iPod Touch probably a couple of years ago to try and get it working. And the lag, the screen lag was terrible. I couldn't remember the password, so I, have to, I had to refresh it. and had to completely wipe it and, and restart it brand new again. Uh, it's a shame I had photos of there of, of naked celebrities and stuff. <laughs> I would have liked to have kept to have kept that, but it didn't work out that way. But yes, <laughs> I had to wipe it. But anyway, anyway, once I wiped it, um, the screen lag, the hertz, the, the refresh rate was pretty terrible. I don't know. It felt like ten frames a second. It felt like ten frames a second. It was pretty terrible. But yeah. Anyway. So the first generation iPod Touch, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes, USB Firewire. Oh, that's interesting. So Firewire is, being, is, is on this one, but of course that was for September 2007. Okay. Uh, Mac 10.4 and Windows XP. Audio was 22 hours. That was pretty cool. But of course, if you're going to be using a screen like that, it's going to be five hours. Now, the second generation... Uh, same gigabytes, 8, 16, and 32 gigabytes, USB, no Firewire for this one, but, but of course the one previous was with Firewire kind of thing. Uh, September 9, 2008, of course one year later, huge improvement when it came to audio, which was 36 hours as opposed to the previous generation, which had 22. Uh, this generation, one year later, had six hours for video playback, whereas this one had five, so that's pretty interesting. At the third generation, iPod Touch had 32 and 64 gigabytes, which was a significant upgrade from the previous two, right? Well, the 64 gigabyte was at least. USB charging, September 2009, Mac 10.4, you get the picture. Uh, the audio was 30, so that's interesting. The third generation iPod Touch had worse battery life for audio. It could only do 30 hours, whereas the one previous had 36. But that's, look at this, that's so strange. Video playback for this newer one had six hours. But this one had six hours too. So how the hell was this one getting six more hours compared to this one? I've absolutely no idea, but there we go. That's, that's something to, to talk about, right? Uh, the fourth generation, iPod Touch 8, 16, 32, and 64. So they've brought back. They've brought back the 8 and the 16 as they did two, two generations ago. So that, that's interesting. This one only had 32 and 64. Uh, this one's got 32. And this one's got 32, 64, plus the one, the M2 from the previous ones, right? September 1st, 2010. Uh, audio, 40 hours. So a significant improvement from that that came before it. Seven hours of video. So an extra hour of video playback compared to the, the previous two. Uh, going to the fifth generation iPod Touch, 16, 32, and 64. USB over lightning. That's interesting. So this must have been the first lightning iPod Touch. There we go. Wow. So the 30, what was it the 32 pin connector or was it the 30 pin connector? I can't remember. There was some sort of 30-ish pin connector that we, that we had on both of these models. Um, they've finally gotten rid of it for this fifth generation iPod Touch. 40 hours of audio and 8 hours of video, so you're getting an extra hour of video playback compared to last year and 2 hours of extra audio playback compared to 2 years previous. That is interesting. Now going to the 6th and the 7th, this is it. This is the last two iPods ever made for 21 years or whatever it's been, right? The 6th six, generation iPod Touch that came out in July 15, 2015 had 16, 32, 64, and 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, yeah, as we said, 2015. Mac 10.7 and Windows 7 was what you needed to get this thing working. Audio, 40 hours and 8 hours, just like the previous generation. So that's interesting. And of course, this is the last one that you can still buy from Apple right now. Wow, 32, 128, 256 gigabytes. USB over lightning, of course. May 28, 2019. Wow, I just saw something. Look at this. Look at this. So, wow, I didn't realize that. I mean, I haven't really been interested in Apple, uh, Apple's iPods for a long time, but look at this, right? Look at the huge difference. This one, the fourth generation, came out in 2010. 
The fifth generation came out two years later, at 2012. This one came out three years later. The number six came out three years later. It's 15. And 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Four years later, the one that we've got now, 2019. Wow. That's interesting. So it looks like Apple's been decreasing their iPod range with the research and development side situation. They've been they've been decreasing the the, the R and D for the longest time. They haven't really been giving a shit. Let's face it. So the last one was 2019, uh, 20, 21, 22. So three years later, 2022, and we now know that iPods have been discontinued. And one more thing, just to finish it off. This is a timeline of the iPod models in visual format. So the iPod Classic, the iPod Mini, the Nano, the Shuffle, and the iPod Touch. There it is in visual format. That was pretty interesting. What do you guys reckon about that? Let me know in the comments down below, okay? We're on channel two and of course channel one. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, at Tallboy Gareth. Give us a like and subscribe, guys. We're making videos here. Uh, quite a few videos every week, all right? <laughs> I've been told my name's Gareth and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Actually, no, no, no. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah.